What's up guys, it's Baby Hay and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley, and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I am filming a day in my life. I have some fun fall things to do today. So I really am looking forward to bringing you guys along for this video. I am trying to adjust to the fact that it's fall here in Vegas. It doesn't feel like the season has changed, but I'm gonna be doing a fall clothing haul. And then I also wanna go to Trader Joe's and get some fun fall themed groceries. So that's kind of the plan for today. This morning I got ready and finished editing a video and uploaded that. I'm gonna make a smoothie now. It's like, I'm trying to look at the clock, 11. I think it says 11.04. So we'll make a smoothie here now and then just bring you guys along for the rest of the day. So for my birthday, Lauren had bought me this cookbook. It's the Well and Good cookbook and it has over a hundred healthy recipes in it. I was kind of shuffling through it this morning to see if I had the ingredients to make anything um, from the smoothie section. And there is this almond butter like protein smoothie that I'm going to attempt to make. I just love that all the recipes in this book are super simple, not a ton of ingredients, and they're pretty easy for the most part it seems like. So I'm gonna do the protein packed smoothie. And it just says that um, you need like a non-dairy milk, frozen blueberries, raspberries, almond butter, spinach, and ice, which is like super simple. But usually when I make my smoothies, I like add banana or um, I don't know, just other things. So it's fun to just try like this smoothie. So you can put a protein powder in this smoothie. It also says to add that. I actually don't have any um, protein powders right now, so I'm just gonna do the almond butter. So it says that it needs um, a third a cup of frozen blueberries and a third a cup of frozen raspberries, but I only have this um, berry medley, which has blueberries, raspberries, and then blackberries, but that's totally fine, so I'm just gonna use this. And then lately I've been drinking this um, almond and coconut blend milk. It's really good. It's just like a little bit different than just the almond one I get. So I'm going to use this almond milk and then a cup of spinach as well. And then it says a tablespoon of almond butter. I have the Justin's brand almond butter. I love drinking my smoothies in these little wine glasses. <laughs> The coconut flakes aren't part of the recipe, but I just like to add them on all my smoothies. And then the wine glass, I like to put my smoothies in wine glasses. And the straws are both from Crate and Barrel, but I'll link these down below for you guys because I know a lot of you ask me where my glasses and straws are from. But this is a really good smoothie. It's honestly super simple and not that many ingredients. So I'll put this recipe in the description box as well. So I got a ton of new fun pieces in the mail from Princess Polly. So I'm gonna hang them all up onto this clothing rack right here. I need to do a try on haul for my Instagram story. I moved the gold mirror over here because I put the Hovit mirror that's usually in my room in the guest room just because this room gets a lot better lighting and I want it to be like bright for my Instagram story. So I'm gonna set all of that up. And if you guys are wondering, this is kind of like a fun fall set. It is from H&M. H&M has a lot of good like sweatshirts and sweatpants, but just matching. So I threw this on this morning. This room is just always way brighter. And then it's perfect because I have my little clothing rack in here. And I actually got this gold clothing rack from Amazon. So if I can still find it, it was a few months ago. But if I can still find it, I will link it down below for you guys in case you're wanting to get a clothing rack, but even if you don't get this exact clothing rack, Amazon has a ton of really great options. So I definitely recommend checking out Amazon for that. So the first item is this crop top and it is called the Guaco top. I'm wearing this in an extra small or US 2 and I love the collar detailing. I think this is so fun for fall and the buttons as well. It's just a little bit see-through and so you can wear like a bra or something. I don't have anything on underneath. And then I also paired it with these jeans. They are called the Conan jeans and they're a little bit big for me. I got them in a US 2 so I guess I probably could have 
done a US zero. I do like my jeans to be a little bit more baggy, so I don't mind that they're a little bit big. And the website did say they are going to shrink because they're 100% cotton. And they're also a little bit long, but I could either hem them or roll them. But yeah, I think that having just like jeans in your wardrobe is always like an important staple to have. So I'm glad that I picked up a pair of jeans. And then I also got this cardigan. It is called the Michael Top, and I'm wearing this in a size US 4. I love the color of it. I would think that this color is more of like a spring or summer color, but it's definitely really in for the fall 2020. And so I wanted to get something that's kind of with the trends right now. And then I also got a matching scrunchie. I think this is super cute to like put in your hair and have like a matching little thing going on. So I'm really excited about this. And then they also have this cardigan in a short sleeve version. So I'll link both of them down below for you guys. So another thing I got is this graphic tee and it is called the burnout tee. I love the detailing on the front, just like all the cars. I think it looks really cool. And then another scrunchie that I think matched this tee really well. I got this tee in a US 8, so it could be really oversized. So if you guys want graphic tees from Princess Polly and you want them to be bigger, I definitely recommend sizing up on them. So next up is another graphic tee. I'm a big fan of graphic tees. They're so comfortable and they're easy. You can wear them with so many things like sweatpants, jeans, biker shorts, and I like to get mine oversized so that I can wear them with biker shorts. I got this in a large or like a US 8 and I got another scrunchie that matched this one really well. But I love this just like tie-dye print. This is definitely really in this season and the Rolling Stones are really fun. So my mom help me pick this one out so this is called the Claire set and I think this is so beautiful I think it's the perfect transition piece for fall the color the long sleeve the like longer skirt with the slit and it's so nice having sets because it's already matched and paired for you I got this in a US 2 definitely my favorite piece that I got this flannel is called the Cameron top I got this in a size small medium the colors are definitely very fall and then underneath I have this crop top called the Layla top on and I'm wearing this in a size US 2 but I am a big fan of this together this might be one of my best fall picks I would say and then the last thing I got is this dress it is called the Cali mini dress love this beige color for fall and then this also has a collar on it you could wear it with sneakers or you could also like dress it up so it's a very versatile piece and just really comfortable I got this in a size US 4 I always get my dresses from Princess Polly in a 4 just because I don't want them to be too short but yeah I'm really excited about this dress and just like everything that Princess Polly sent me so big thank you to them for sending me all these pieces and then I wanted to let you guys know that my my discount code is HEY20 for 20% off and I'll be sure to link everything down below for you guys and I'll also like uh, list all my sizes so that you guys can reference off of that. Feel free to ask me like any questions in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as I can. I finally got the mirror back into my room. That was a lot of work and I'm just going to wear this dress today. It's super comfy and we are going to go to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has a super cute fall section outside, so if you want any like decor or things for your house, you could come to Trader Joe's. And I'm gonna pick up one of these. I need to buy a vase. So many good options that you can get. Get ready for a massive fall grocery haul because I got so many good things. And keep in mind that all of this is gluten and dairy free, so if you're needing some good fall dairy and gluten-free items, I got you. So in this first bag, I got a cauliflower pizza crust. I get these all the time, but they're really good to make homemade pizza. Fall chips, they are the fall leaf corn tortilla chips. Blueberries and some bananas, avocado. And I picked up this, it is the Harvest Blend um, tea so this will be really nice to have in the evenings i've been having like a sore throat kind of so i was like oh perfect wild alaskan sockeye salmon it comes with two fillets and i have been really into seafood so i knew that this would be perfect to have this week moving on to this bag it looks like this one has a lot more of the fall stuff in it 
So I picked up the gluten-free pumpkin bread muffin mix and I am so excited to make this one night. I figured this would be like a fun fall evening treat to make. It is so good. I've had it before. I made it last year. So I'm definitely going to make this soon. Maybe tonight? I don't know. We'll see. And then I picked up some sweet potato crackers. The spicy pumpkin curry simmer sauce. This will be good with some tofu. I also got tofu, so I think that this would pair really well with it. The fall harvest salsa, gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels. I'm really excited about these. I could have them with butter, but I really want to get the Miyoko dairy-free cream cheese. I've had it before, but I don't have any right now, so I'll definitely pick that up to have with the bagels. Garden vegetable soup. This is gonna be so good. There's just so many good veggies in it. And I just love having soup in the fall. So I thought that this would be a good soup to get. Organic butternut squash soup. And I thought this would be really good with a grilled cheese instead of like tomato soup doing a butternut squash soup. So I'm definitely gonna do a grilled cheese soon. Strawberries, more fruit for the week. Tomato basil hummus dip. I think this would be really good with these sweet potato crackers. Mozzarella style shreds. This is the vegan cheese that I get. The Trader Joe's one is my favorite cheese. Organic firm tofu. This will go really well with the pumpkin curry sauce. Organic brown rice bags. These are super easy to throw into the microwave. They cook in like three minutes and it makes the rice turn out perfectly. So these are a must. Mashed sweet potato. Potatoes, organic super sweet cut corn. I also got this. And then the last thing is this harvest chili. This looked super good. It's black beans, butternut squash, cauliflower, sweet potatoes simmered with pumpkin puree and chili spices. So really excited to have this um, harvest chili. That is everything that I got at the grocery store. Here's just a quick little overview of everything. But I am very pleased with this Trader Joe's trip. I think I got a lot of really yummy things. Can I please get a grande ice pumpkin spice latte with almond milk? Grande ice pumpkin spice latte with almond milk, okay. But can you make it like not super sweet? Like do like half the amount of flavor? Is there anything else on that first order? That's it for the first order. You want the same okay. exact thing? Same exact thing. And then for the second order, we'll just do the same exact thing. <laughs> like a grande pumpkin spice latte, the ice with only two pumps. That's it. All right. That'll be six forty-five for each of them. Thank you. Uh, thank we'll you. See you at the window. Okay. Bye. Six forty-five. Mm. They rack up the price on pumpkin spice. What? <laughs> <laughs> they rack up the price on the pumpkin spice. They do. I swear my lattes are usually like 505. I know. A dollar thirty more. Do you usually get sweetener? Yeah, like you get like two pumps, right? Or no, you don't get any? Oh, I don't get any. Yeah. Yeah, but even so. I know, mine are always like five thirty something. Yeah. Yeah. Six forty five. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Well, I'm very excited to try these lattes and then Caitlin and I are gonna go shoot some pictures. We are out of content. Got I have nothing to post. <laughs> Alright, you want to try them? Yep. Let's cheers. Cheers! cheers. Whoa. Mm. Good thing we only got half. Yeah, because that's strong already. It's really sweet. Mmm. It's good though. Really good. Wow. I actually really like it. Mine says three pumps. Mine says three also. <laughs> I said two. These people. Oh, that's why it was so expensive. But it comes with four. So we said less. Oh, yeah. But it it's not like we asked for extra. Yeah, we could have definitely gotten two or one. I asked for two. This is a good treat. Mm -hmm. It's good, actually, that there's some sugar in this because I'm, like, crashing. I know. I've barely eaten today. I just, like, forgot. That's terrible. I know. I'm gonna eat later. I have really good avocado toast with smoked salmon on top. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to give you guys a little segment of how we shoot, take our Instagram pictures, because I know so many people have been asking. So normally, like, we just drive to, like, a cute shopping center that has lots of different, like, backgrounds yeah. and walls and random stuff. 
Yeah, and we try to go at like good lighting. So like right now, what time is it? We basically go like two hours before sunset. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I would say that's definitely a good. It's 5:15 right now, so sunset's like around seven-ish here. So we try to get that like golden hour lighting, and then we always take our pictures in bursts, so that we have like a lot of different options. So burst means this, like when you're taking a photo on iPhone, you <laughs> you t you put your finger tap it lightly. Oh, that's wrong. You tap it lightly and you go to the side. And then it takes a bunch of pictures of you. So then you can look through them all and make sure that you have the one that you want. And it's always easier to shoot pictures with a friend, which is like why we always take pictures of each other. So if you can get like a friend or like just someone that you're close with to take pictures of you, that will definitely help. I feel like also you're really good about this is um, we choose what background based off of the lighting. So not like, oh, that wall's really cute. I'm gonna like make it work. We basically yeah. like go, which direction is like the best lighting? And then we like find backgrounds that are in that direction. Totally, yeah. We definitely don't pick based on like the location as much. It's way more based on the lighting because that's how it helps when you edit your pictures. And then both of us use presets to edit too. Um, that makes your pictures look way different and honestly just a lot better. And you can like adjust like different colors in the photo if it's like too orange or too green or whatever. Yeah. And the lighting too a little bit. I use Aspen Overt's presets. The one I mostly use is her dreamy preset. So I'll link it down below. What preset do you use? Her name's like Kelsey. Floyd, I think she's pretty popular on Instagram. Um, her and a bunch of influencers teamed up and like put their presets on this app called Malibu. So I have like her whole collection on there, and there's also like I didn't really use any of the other ones, but there's a lot of good presets on there. It's really nice that we have each other. <laughs> I know <laughs> to and, take pictures, and it just takes practice too. Like we're so much faster at taking photos of each other now because we just do it all the time. So just yeah. keep doing it. We've been here for like 10 minutes, and we're already done. <laughs> obviously wearing a different outfit because I took pictures in two different looks but I just got a package in the mail and I'm really excited so I'm gonna open it so I got this in the mail from Urban and I'm so excited I ordered this a couple days ago first thing is this Nike cap oh my gosh I love it I think it's so fun I obviously need to tighten it up a bit what do you guys think do you like it i think it's really cute it's just a fun like little baseball cap and i love that it's nike it'll look really cute with my air force ones and then i also love that it's beige i just feel like it's very like fall and then i got this t-shirt dress this is a pretty popular t-shirt and i've been wanting it for a while but it is this van halen t-shirt dress i got it in a small medium just like a very oversized comfy shirt and then the shirt comes in two colors but they're really the same color it's like a tannish color one's a little bit more yellow but one has holes and one doesn't and i got the one with the holes in it they're not like super big holes but they're just like tiny little rips throughout and i just feel like it gives the shirt some fun texture so I'm really looking forward to wearing this. Put it on for you guys. So you can get the full effect. I feel like I can, mm, these colors probably don't go well together. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. <laughs> you could wear it with biker shorts, jeans. I just love oversized shirts. So great purchase. And I'll link these down below from Urban, but Urban has a lot of my favorite clothes. I get so much stuff from there. So you can definitely um, check out their website. They have the best graphic tees and a lot of good hats. I got my bucket hat from there too. So I think I'm gonna have a pretty simple dinner tonight, but I'm still gonna make it fall themed and have the Harvest Chili. I'm really hungry. So I'm excited to eat this and it's just nice because this is already gonna be pretty fast. And then, 
you can't go wrong with some tortilla chips with chili. So I'm gonna have some of the um, fall leaf corn tortilla chips. And I think that's gonna be like a fabulous little dinner. And it says you can heat up this chili either in the microwave or on the stove. I do not want this to get on me, but I'd rather do it in the pan on the stove. I'm like freaking out, this is gonna get on my shirt. <laughs> the day just flies by so fast I really wanted to make it to either home goods or world market too but it's already 650 and I'm really hungry and home goods and world market will close early on Sundays and today's Sunday I don't know if I told you guys today's Sunday so I am probably just gonna look for some like home decor online all right you guys chili is heated up Tortilla chips are really good. Big fan. I love this chili. I haven't had chili in so long. I forgot how much I like chili. <laughs> Highly recommend. So many good and like healthy ingredients in this. Wow. It's also super fast. That took like a, only a couple minutes to heat up and I got a full dinner. Obviously got a dip your chip in your chili. <laughs> now that it's football season and today's Sunday, I usually just turn my TV on and let the games play. And I don't know what team you guys are, but the Seahawks won today. And I really miss going to the games. It's obviously different this season, but, and I don't live in Seattle anymore, but I'll always be a Seahawk fan. So go Hawks. <laughs> Would it be a full fall day if I didn't make this pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix? And to be completely honest with you guys, I didn't have a muffin pan or a loaf pan because I don't eat things like this usually. So I went to Target and I just bought this so that I could make this with you guys. I haven't had this, like anything like this in so long. So this is gonna be such a treat. So it says to obviously preheat the oven, and now I need to stir together water, oil, eggs, and bread mix until smooth. So do a cup of water, and I need a half a cup of oil. And then I need two large eggs. I'm honestly hoping that if I make this, Caitlin and Connor will want some because I cannot eat the whole loaf of pumpkin bread. And then I just have to throw it away. I really just want like one or two pieces of it. I just wanna try it. You guys know I eat super healthy and this is just like not something I would typically have but it's like a fun treat you know a fun treat like for one day but not like a fun treat to eat every single day until the loaf is gone that's not a treat then now i'm going to grease it with this coconut non-stick cooking spray just adding all of the mixture into the pan then I have to let it bake for, it says 50 to 55 minutes. That is a long time. <laughs> you guys should comment down below your favorite fall, either food or tradition or just something fall inspired. And then I can read all your comments and get some good ideas from you guys. And then everyone else can read each other's comments and then we can all benefit from new fall themed ideas. Time to let this bake. See you in an hour. 
took the pumpkin bread out of the oven and I let it sit for 10 minutes, but it looks amazing. Honestly, it turned out perfectly. I'm gonna have a piece of the pumpkin bread with some of my new tea. I wanted to try this as well. You guys can obviously see that I switched into my pajamas. This is my current favorite pajama set, the one from Target. Me and Lauren got like kind of matching ones. Hers was just a different print, but I'm actually gonna order the other one that she got because that print is super cute too. So I'll link the pajamas down below for you guys. And then I got my finger jack on. I just know I need to wear this more. So I'm trying to, you know, get my finger straight. So I have my little finger jack on. If you guys aren't caught up to speed on my hand, it's getting better. But I did fill you guys in on one of my weekend in my life videos and it's getting a lot better. But I just have to wear this to get it more straight. But I have been trying to use my finger a lot more. So this is what the tea looks like and it is the harvest blend but it just has like cinnamon, um, ginger, hibiscus and then some other natural flavors in it. It's caffeine free which is why I can have it at night. And I already heated up the water so I'm just going to plop this in there and get that ready. Well this is the perfect end to the night. My tea and a piece of pumpkin bread and my pajamas. Like, could not be going better. <laughs> this tea is so warm and just cozy. Wow. I'm gonna be drinking this so much at night now. Now, I gotta try my pumpkin bread. See how I did. Wow. I cooked this perfectly. Like the top has a little bit of a crunchy, like crisp factor to it. And then the inside is like a little bit, not like super gooey, but very soft. Great work, Kaylee. <laughs> I feel like today really put me into the fall spirit. I just did so many fall themed things and I'm so happy with how it went. But I'm gonna finish eating my pumpkin bread, drink my tea and watch this episode, and then I think I'm gonna go to sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.